Hi Virgo, I hope you're doing well and this is going to be your October 2019 tarot reading so let's jump right into it. I hope everybody is doing well, I hope you guys had an amazing birthday. My cousin, uh, her birthday was on 6th of September. Unfortunately, I'm not in Russia right now so I couldn't like celebrate it with her but yeah so and my brother oh my god i almost forgot about my brother what the hell <laughs> my half brother uh his birthday was it just happened recently on the 21st okay <laughs> so uh virgo what can virgo expect to happen in october 2019 so i do have you know a couple of virgos in my life for sure okay up with this knight of swords it's like i'm using three decks you know and uh, a lot of signs have been getting knight of swords from all these different decks i don't know maybe it means something um so the star is at the bottom of the deck and that's a wonderful card for some of you this could be hope that you have now all over again maybe after a period of stagnation for others it could be healing for others, it could be a wish coming true or a wish being granted to you. You know, there is a, a sense of healing and positive energy and harmony surrounding you in October. And also choices. So this lover's card is a little bit different. This one is directly speaking about choices. No uh, romantic connection. You know, this is about choices. So this could be maybe a choice between two Two things, two people, two jobs, you know, two ideas, two projects. There, there's definitely a choice in front of you in October. One you have to walk away from, the other one you have to accept. One is old, one is new, okay? Now, the next card, the first card in the spread, I'm sorry that I'm talking like this. I'm actually very exhausted. I did a lot of instant goes this morning. I don't know how this happened. I do quite a few readings a day on Instant Go, but it was just so overwhelming today and I record videos for people and I can barely uh, speak now, <laughs> talk too much. Six of Wands is the first card. Six of Wands suggests that you are going to get recognized for something. You, however, could give somebody else recognition and uh, some kind of acknowledgement. Uh, Six of Wands is a card of victory. Six of Wands is a card of uh, everybody looking at you, you being uh, the center of attention. So why is Six of Wands here? Princes of Swords. Princes of Swords could be actually very interesting here. This could be um, those baby steps that you were taking towards this goal and it's finally getting recognized in the beginning of the month because anything princess, anything page is initial level. It's baby steps, it's slow steps. You're building something. You're building the foundation possibly, uh, building a connection, building whatever. But this is slower steps, okay? towards this goal that could be actually accomplished in the beginning of the month. However, another meaning of Princes of Swords, I would say here, you know, this could be information that comes around that will not only cheer you up, but also bring you some kind of victory in the situation, some kind of success. Um, if we are more specific here, now it's not going to resonate with everyone, obviously, but Princes of Swords could suggest legal matters and a legal, legal letter coming around some kind of legal information that is playing out in your favor which is very important for us you know so that it plays out in your favor so you can feel success in this situation and that's exactly what is happening here okay you could be receiving some information in the beginning of the month that can lead you to victory now six of wands is a victory on the smaller scale than for example the chariot right it's still good it's still great but it's still but it's it's on the smaller scale let's just put it that way so i don't think this is like a major deal you know that you are going to uh, that's going to happen but it is going to be something that will make you feel very good and the stars at the bottom of the deck as well and it's like reminding me you know that this month is going to be full of positive energy now the next card i have here is eight of 
cups and eight of cups that's when we disconnect from something that's when we uh, walk away from something we banish <laughs> now um, it could be that maybe there was a project a person a situation that you were tied to emotionally and it was really hard for you to let go and i feel like you are letting go this month which is if you remember how we got the lover's card at the bottom of the deck uh, card of choices uh, this could mean that maybe you are going to end up leaving something behind now is it the old thing that you're leaving behind or a new thing that you are not approaching and just leaving behind I'm not exactly sure but there is definitely a choice being made and you are walking away from something emotionally now don't fear this card that like oh my god you know I'm gonna I'm gonna have to leave it's more like your decision your solid decision to leave Okay, so why is Eight of Cups here? Queen of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign, you know, that you could be walking away from, or this could be... It doesn't have to be a fire sign, though. It can just be very somebody very pushy, somebody a little controlling. You could kind of slip out of their control. You could slip out of their... Um, Prison, you know, something where they are kind of keeping you, have been keeping you for a very long time. It's like you're escaping out of it so you can make your own decisions, so you can make, so you can build your own future, okay? But this is the most dramatic I can interpret this. Another thing here is Queen of Wands could be your energy. It doesn't matter whether you're a, fa a male or a female. Uh, this is you walking away, taking action being very solid on this, being very straightforward, being very goal-oriented. You are walking away so you can build a better future. And I know it sounds a little bit dramatic, maybe it's not going to be like that. You know, I do not think that your whole life is changing. We haven't even got any major arcanas, except this one. You know, I don't think that your life is changing drastically. Uh, I don't think it's like that. Okay, but it is something that you need to do to be able to move forward, okay, to be able to achieve whatever you've been trying to achieve uh, easier. Now, with six of wands, I'm not going to say that you're not going to achieve anything in the beginning of the month. You will, and you will be in somewhat of a, almost like a public eye or somebody's going to be watching you, watching your accomplishments, your efforts. It's going to be amazing, by the way. <laughs> and Knight of Swords, let's get to that. And I keep seeing the star at the bottom of the deck. It's all about wishes. It's all about uh, that hope and faith being born again. It's all about healing. And with Knight of Swords, here we may receive... Not we, I'm not a very good... We, you may receive some information. Uh, and again, since these are swords, you know, first of all, this could be very quick information, like an email, you know, a text, a phone call. This could be also um, possibly illegal, you know, if it's not like just fast like that, it could be legal, legal information that you might receive. So why is Knight of Swords here? And you know, for everyone, it's different. Ooh, how wonderful is this and I keep seeing the star wow everybody's like lucky uh, this October you know I do believe that most people are going to experience really good emotions really good things and uh, life is just changing life is shifting and uh, ten of Pentacles clarifying Knight of Swords so what can I say here ten of Pentacles is when you can you can gather all your family together or your friends or whatever whoever is the closest to you and you feel so good around them and you feel such comfort and harmony and you know that it's going to last with ten of pentacles things last okay so this information that you're going to be receiving towards the end of the month this is something that's coming to you that is promising that it's going to last okay uh, financial situation. It could be uh, information about your finances. It could be something that somebody owes you coming back. It could be an opportunity that's coming that's coming around. This could be the choice that you are going to make, which remember, it is about choices at first. You know, you're going to make that choice and this is what's going to clear the path to stability for you. Whatever, whatever is everyone desiring. You know, I know we all desire different things and the, the star is the wish card. Some of us desire financial stability some of us desire 
stability within family, stability within their romantic relationships, stability with their children and their school and you know that's a lot of things everybody desires and everybody's different but whatever this is to you that seems to be the main aspect of the month you know whatever you're working on the hardest whatever you want to have the most i feel like there will be a shift in that area of your life and the last card i have here is princess of wands and this is opportunities fun entertainment happiness uh training even maybe uh taking up on all these different things to learn you know maybe uh, an ability and um, a desire to learn something new to kind of soak up all these opportunities and to move forward and it's all about excitement and wow like i mean it's amazing guys it's amazing some of you will be leaving your old life behind and trying something new something totally new um Others maybe will deny new opportunities and uh, do something about the past. I, I don't know, but I, I, I do believe that there will be a choice and you will make the right choice because if this is how uh, it's looking, you know, the overview of the month is looking, I do believe whatever choice you make is going to be the right one. And let's clarify, why is Princess of Wands here? Knight of Wands and the star. The star keeps showing itself. Faith, wishes coming true, wishes granted. <sighs> Healing from a lot of painful experiences, you know, getting back on your feet. And with Knight of Wands, it's so fiery. It's a very fiery towards the end of the month. You are going to be so goal oriented. You're going to have something in mind that you are so ambitious about and you're gonna you're not gonna care what anybody thinks you're going to keep moving towards it guys please do not do not lose this opportunity if you do have something amazing coming around please take it please use it please do something about it because not only that it's gonna make you feel good but it's also going to be so beneficial for your future for your stability for your family You'll be able to share that with others. You will receive respect. You will receive support. I don't know what it is, guys, but it looks amazing. Okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like, follow me on Instagram, Anna111. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.